invite you to find a comfortable seated position that could be on a chair or sitting on the floor, sitting up on something if you prefer. Lift up through the crown of the head and let the eyes close down or certainly allow the eyes to soften. And start to notice your breath. So it's becoming aware of the natural rise and fall of the chest. And start to deepen your breath, drawing the breath in through the nose, through the throat, into the lungs. And as the breath travels out, lungs, throat, nostrils into the air. As you breathe in, count for the five, four, three, two, one. And exhaling, five, four, three, two two, one, drawing the breath in, two, three, four, five, pause, and out, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, pause, and out, two, three, four, Five. And just continue with that steady breath. You can extend those breaths if you like, or just keep the steadiness of counting the same breath in as you breathe out. Going to add to that an alternate nostril breathing, where I'll get you to bring the peace fingers of your right hand and just place that in between the eyebrows. Continuing with the breath, drawing it in for five. And as you exhale out for five, at the end of the exhale, cover your right nostril with your thumb and breathe in through the left nostril. Five, four, three, two, one. Cover the left, lift the right and out. Two, three, four, five. Pause and in. Two, three, four, Five, cover, pause, and out, two, three, four, five, pause, in, two, three, four, five, cover, lift the right, and out, two, three, four, five, breathing in. Cover, breathing out. One more round in. Cover, out through the right. Breathing in. Cover and breathing out. Lowering your hands down to your knees and continuing to breathe in for five and out for five for a couple of rounds. Letting everything slow down, letting everything soften. The skin on your face softens, the tongue, the muscles around the eyes. And as you're ready, starting to open your eyes and bringing yourself into a child's pose. So a child's pose, you can bring your big toes to touch, take your knees wide and let the belly rest down. We'll touch on the thighs. Now if that gives you any discomfort in the knees, place a rolled up towel or blanket behind the knees. And then reach your arms forward in extended child's pose and let the forehead touch the floor. If the forehead doesn't easily touch the floor, you can place it onto a book or a block or whatever you have available and let the, the space between the eyebrows be grounded. And then feel the breath in the back body. Feel the belly softening. See if you can let the shoulders soften. Breathe into the space around the sacrum, the lower back, the back of the lungs, the back of the kidneys. 
and then when you're ready spreading your hands and making your way up and to all fours you may want to rearrange your legs so the shins are parallel to the long edge of the mat and lower the belly and open the heart and then bring your chin to your chest and bring the tailbone forward draw the belly up to your spine then starting to articulate the spine but see if you can stay with that breath of five breathing in slowly breathing out as you lift the spine to the sky and push the ground away it's another couple of rounds at your own pace inhaling exhaling one more time opening the heart and the next time you lift up finding the spine lifting up towards the sky breathing into the back body and then let the spine be parallel to the ground and slide your hands forward here and as they do let the chest release down towards the ground now you may find that you can bring your chin all the way down but you may find that you're up off the ground if your shoulders are tight you can even come onto your forearms but give yourself a moment here to draw the front ribs up to the back ribs breathe in deep turning the armpits towards each other feel like you're pulling the hips back a little as well to lengthen the spine and then sliding your hands back once again back into all fours taking your right leg long and just curl the right toe underneath so you really stretch through the right calf muscle reach your left arm forward draw your front ribs to the back ribs and then lift that right leg up once again see if you can connect in with that slow steady inhalation exhalation maybe counting five if you like for a couple of rounds get long the heel stretching away from the fingers fingers stretching away from the heel and then lowering the hand and the shin down we'll take that the other way left leg goes long start by curling the toes and open through the calf lift the front ribs to the back ribs reach the right arm forward and then lift that leg up steady breath the crown of the head is getting long the back heel is reaching back the fingers are stretching out can draw the shoulder blade away from the from the crown of the head and then lowering all the way down take a moment to bring your hips back to the heels forehead to the floor if you feel tight in the wrists you can form fists and start to circle the hands it's releasing tightness really good one to do when you're at your desk as well this rolling around of the of the wrists and as you spread your hands going to lift up you can stay all fours if you prefer but otherwise tuck your toes and lift the sit bones high you can bend your knees and get really long with the spine the head is heavy the armpits turn towards each other breathing deep lifting the front ribs away from the index finger as you push your index finger into the ground push down through the thumb knuckle joint as well right leg lifts you can of course be doing this on all fours if you prefer and then bring your right knee to your nose and by whatever means necessary bring that right foot to your right thumb and bring your left knee to the ground you can tuck your back toe if you prefer but push it into the floor that will take a bit of pressure off the back knee hand onto your front thigh and as you push away draw the belly up feel yourself lifting through the belly and then opening up through this left hip flexor inhale reaching tall here with the fingers breathing deep and then we're going to bring the hands down to the floor left hand stays on the floor right hand comes to the right knee and start to rotate here so rotate the left ribs to the right opening the heart to the ceiling if you like you can tuck that back knee off the ground coming into a higher lunge and if you like you can reach the right arm to the sky but if that feels too strong just stay where you are and we're going to coil back down bring your hand onto the floor and peel the front toes back now if you're away off the floor you can of course use something to put your hands on a some books or cushions or whatever you have available soup cans or water bottles work really well as well but your hips can stay high and draw that right sit bone away from the right heel letting yourself fold 
If you can, you're folding at the hip and staying long with the spine as you open here. Get that lovely length through the hamstring muscle, through the calf. And if you're a bit more open, you may find that you can release down further, but many people are right up here and that's great too. As you bring your foot to the floor, going to step back into downward facing dog or just kneeling if you prefer. Sit bones lift high, bending your knees if you need to, but you may find you can start to lengthen the heels to the floor. Left leg lifts, three legged dog. Left knee draws into the nose. Left foot to the thumb. You may need to bring that back knee down to help with that. You can tuck the back foot or leave it curled, your choice. Hand onto your thigh and then push the thigh away and feel yourself lengthening through the back hip flexor. Inhaling, reaching up, lifting tall through the fingers. As you bring your hands down to the ground, right hand under right shoulder, left hand to your left knee and start to rotate. If you like, you can tuck your back toe, lift the back knee, lift that top arm. Purely optional, of course. Get long from the back heel to the roof of the mouth. Lowering your hand down, lowering the back knee down and starting to lengthen that front leg. Now, once again, you can get a bit of height under the hands. You can start to fold if it's available to you. Thinking of lengthening from the hip point to the armpit. Thinking of pulling that left hip away from the left heel. Sinking a little deeper if it's available to you. And as you're ready, bringing the foot back down to the ground. Lifting the back knee, stepping back into your downward facing dog. And then as you roll forward, bringing yourself into plank, knees to the floor, lowering all the way down to the ground. And as you frame your chest, Open your heart here, push your feet down to the ground. If it feels good, start to push the floor away a little. You can look forward to keep the back of the neck long. So opening up to whatever feels good for you, for Cobra, Bhujangasana. Exhaling, releasing down. We'll do that two more times. So feel yourself, just feel the strength of the back muscles, the connection of the feet on the floor to help you lift. Exhaling down. And one more time, inhaling. And exhaling down. And when you're ready, just pushing the ground away and coming back into your child's pose. Forehead touches the floor. Ribs softening down onto your thighs. Feel as if you could let any concerns or stress of the body melt and release into the mat. And then starting to Bring yourself into staff pose or dandasana with the legs in front of you. Now, if your spine rounds, grab a cushion, sit up on that, give yourself some height so you're avoiding this slump. But otherwise, lift up here, crown of the head above the tailbone, and then step your left foot in and step your left foot over the right leg. Now, you may like to keep this right leg long, or you may find you can easily bring the right heel to your outer left hip. No biggie if you can't, whatever works for you. So if you're like this, lift up through the crown of the head, right fingertips to the floor, left arm, fly it up. Inhale, we're going to take an open twist, so starting to turn to the right, bringing your left elbow to the inside of the right knee and rotating, opening the heart. Push down through the big toe of this front foot. Feel the crown of the head above the tailbone, align yourself as much as you're able to. Feel the sit bones connecting down. Breathing deep and steady, filling up the lungs. And we're going to take the twist into a closed twist the other way. So as you come back to the center, you can take your right hand to your left knee, left fingertips behind you. Use the fingertips behind you to lift you. Use the foot on the floor to push and give you length and then starting to rotate. For most people, you're, you may want to stay like this or you may want to take your right elbow, hook it to your outer left knee. Once again, just bring your focus to the spine. Bring your focus to the breath. Imagine you could breathe up a straw as if your spine is a straw and you can breathe from the tailbone to the roof of the mouth. 
twisting a little deeper on your exhale, inhale, rising up on your inhale, and then coming back to the center. And then as you take your left leg along, we'll bring the right foot, step your right foot over and really get grounded here. Sit bones grounded, crown of the head lifting up, left fingertips behind you, right arm fly it up and starting to rotate and bring that right elbow to the inner left knee or you can just hold your knee to help you rotate. Now as you do that, get long, tailbone to the crown of the head, breathing deep, shoulder soft. You also have the option, of course, of taking this long leg, the heel, to the outer hip if that feels better for you or if it's available to you. When you're ready, we'll start to return to the center and take your right fingertips behind you. Your left arm flies up to the sky. Inhale and as you exhale, rotate, holding your knee, opening the heart, maybe taking your elbow to the outer thigh, collarbones broad. Breathing deep and steady. Still align the, yourself here. Align the spine, align the sit bones. Draw the ribs in. Coming all the way back to the center. And as you make your way down to the ground, soles of the feet touch the floor, the arms can go wide. Let the knees fall to the right as the gaze moves to the left. Soles of the feet to the floor, knees move to the left, gaze to the right. You can take a couple of movements like this, just massaging the back of the hips and the pelvis on the ground. Feeling the breath steady and deep. Feel free to take any final movements and then settling down for Shavasana. Now you can stay here for as long as you like, letting the bones become heavy, letting the muscles release away from the bones. Letting the fingers soften, the tongue soften, the breath be deep and steady. So feel free to stay here for as long as you like and when you are ready, you can roll to your side, coming all the way up into cross-legged and take a moment just to notice how you feel now. Thank you for joining me.